advanced rigging tutorial we are having a look at how to create a still foot now when animating uh, this is often something animators will struggle with uh, if you need to keep to keep the uh, foot set on the ground whether it's during a walk cycle or that your character is bending over you need to have the foot to stay uh, to stay there on the ground while the leg bends now if I try to bend my leg we know right away that uh, the foot follows the, uh, the bottom part of my leg. So this is something that can be good if my character is jumping or while anytime while my uh, foot is following the main position of my leg. But if I wanted to have my character bend over and have the foot staying still on the ground, then it becomes really tedious trying to counter animate that entire thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another foot that will stay grounded or a still foot as we uh, as we will be calling it today. So I'm going to start off by looking at what I have inside of my foot at the moment. I have the shoelaces on the overlay. I have my foot on the line art and I have the color art and underlay that are empty and have nothing in them. So wonderful. We will be using the color art and underlay layer to put our second foot. That way when the animator changes from one foot to the other, he'll be able to decide whether or not he wants the foot to stay grounded or if he wants the foot to follow the rest of the leg. So I'm going to start off by creating a new drawing. I'm going to go on my foot right here and I will duplicate the drawing of my foot. And I'm going to come into the overlay, cut the shoelaces and come and paste them in the color art. And I will go into the line art and I will cut the shoe into the underlay. So at the moment, since these two layers are filtered out, uh, filtering out the line art and overlay, I'm not seeing any of the information since uh, they are now in my color and underlay layer. So I'm pretty much gonna, going to build another foot over to the side. I am going to be taking these, copy, paste, and I'm going to take the shoe, copy, paste, so I have clones of these two modules. I'm going to call this one still shoe underscore back and rename this one still shoelace underscore back. I'm going to create a peg for each of these. For this one, I'll just attach it like that at the moment and I'm going to create a composite to come and uh, attach both of these so I'm setting it as pass through and I'm gonna rename it still shoe back comp. I'm gonna come and connect this to where my other foot is sitting in my composite and then I'm going to come and bring these two together. I'll have the shoelace connected on top. And you can even move these around if it makes more sense for you. Just like that. And I'm going to come and create the filters for my two different drawing layers. Now if we remember properly, we put the shoelaces in the color art. So I'm going to go into my favorites to get a color art module or a color art node. And I'm going to get an underlay layer node to filter out the shoe only when it's in the underlay. So now I can select it at the moment. I can see it's not selecting this one because if I were to uh, click on the drawing, 
it's not showing the overlay. But if I go into my first frame and I click on my shoe, it will select this one and not this one because currently my foot is in the line art. Now it can get a little bit confusing. That is why we have uh, the, uh, the nodes that indicate where exactly our art is located. Now the first step that we, the, the second step that we want to do is create a deformation for our current foot. So the one that is on the second frame and I'm going to go into my deformation bar and get the rigging tool. But for this foot, what we're going to do is create a, uh, an inverted deformation, uh, meaning that instead of starting it from the heel all the way to the toes, we're going to start with the toes and go all the way up to the heels. So I'm going to adjust a little bit my deformation and go get my transform tool. So to accommodate the movement that I'm looking for for this deformation, um, in the other one I had it following the leg, but in this one I want the full the 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 full foot to stay on the ground so that if I need to bend my knee or even if my foot needs to stay grounded a little bit and if my character were to lift up his foot, I could just use the deformation in this way, which makes it very easy uh, for walk cycles and the likes to uh, to just have this slight raise in the heel to uh, to work with that step. So I have this one here, and uh, don't forget also to rename your drawings. Right now. I've just duplicated my drawing. I want to go and rename that QF underscore two because I already have a QF underscore one. So I've renamed my drawing here. I want to make sure uh, that I have the same thing for my second drawing as well, which I will be doing for the uh, front view. So I'll duplicate this one rename it F underscore two. And from there, I want to go and get the shoelaces from the overlay, copy, I mean cut and paste into the color. I'm going to the line art, cutting into the underlay. And now I have the same thing happening here. I have uh, just this part showing on my frame 21 and on my frame 20 I have these that are showing. So at the moment when I click on my still shoe I have the deformation from my previous foot and I want to set its own deformation its own deformation chain in the still shoe so I'll create a new deformation chain. Right here I want to go and get my rigging tool. I'm going to go and click, click, click. There we go, we have our deformation. And now I can move this one in the same way that I could the other one. I still have my shoelaces here. Um, if you wanted to have a different pivot point for this drawing, you could definitely do so because each pivot point is independent to the drawings. So for your peg, if you wanted to have the pivot point over at the shoes, kind of the same as the deformation uh, does, you could definitely do that. So I'm going to go on my F2 drawing, reposition the pivot point. I'm going to go on my QF2 drawing and do the same, place the pivot point around the shoes so that now if I wanted to animate the entire foot, 
I would just go and get the uh, the drawing layer of my shoe. I would copy it, paste it to give it the pivot point, and now I can do the rotation in the same angle that I could for the uh, deformation. So now I have my shoe. Um, where would I attach this um, to get um, for it to still be a part of my character without necessarily being connected to the hierarchy of my uh, leg. Now what I'm going to do is create another master peg. So I'll have this one that is the master, I'll rename it without master no legs. Sounds kind of funny. And I'll have the master peg right here. And I can come and copy uh, the pivot point information that I had in this one, or I can come and manually reposition it on my uh, on my character, just like that. And I'm going to come and connect the still shoe to the master peg. So that way, if I need to move my entire character uh, give him a slight rotation without affecting the foot while keeping the foot grounded. I could do that. You can see that it wouldn't work necessarily with a foot that is attached, but with one that is detached from the structure of my character. After that, I would just need to adjust the pants a little bit uh, for it to work. Same thing if I need to have uh, my character bend his knees a little bit um, now that I have my second drawing, so when I'm showing QF2 for the shoe, now if I move my leg, you can see that it's not attached to my foot. So I could bring this over here. I can change the line of my pants ever so slightly. And then I can bend this little guy over. And now, as you can see, the foot isn't moving at all. It's just staying still. And my character can way more easily bend over like that. And you could do just the same with the other leg as well. With just the touch of a button, you can go and change it if you want the leg to be attached or if you want to the, have the legs stay grounded, you just come and get the QF2 drawing. So I hope that was helpful. We will be going over a few more things to complete our rig, and I will see you guys in the next step.